Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Tichafa Samuel Parirenyatwa Tichafa Samuel Parirenyatwa was the first trained black physician and medical doctor in Zimbabwe and the first vice president of the Zimbabwe African People's Union, ZAPU. He was a prominent figure during ZAPU's political struggle against the white colonial administration in southern Rhodesia. Parirenyatwa was born on the 17th of July 1927 at Rusape in Manika Land. His growing days were in Sakuva Township, Mutare. Along with many others who became Zimbabwean nationalists, he got admission into South Africa's University of Fort Hare in the Eastern Cape and got his degree from the University of Witwatersrand. He then proceeded to Durban for more medical training. He paved the way for two other black Zimbabweans who followed in his footsteps, Silas Mundawarara and Edward Munasireyi Swarayi. Silas became Zimbabwe's Minister of Health in 1979 and Edward Deputy Minister of Health in the late 1980s. When Parin Yatwa returned to Southern Rhodesia, as Zimbabwe was then called, he became instrumental in the establishment of the Mashona Land Herbalist Association, the first of such organization in sub-Saharan Africa. This group viewed traditional healers as public servants and established a general code of conduct for dealings with the public. Paririn Yatwa, who had earlier entered the government service as a public servant, resigned in 1961 to commit to politics full-time. He joined the National Democratic Party when the Southern Rhodesia African National Congress was banned. It was at this time he became one of the leading nationalists in the territory, alongside figures like Robert Mugabe, Joshua Nkomo, and Ndabaningi Sitole. In January 1962, Joshua Nkomo appointed Parien Yatwa to the position of Deputy President of the newly formed Zimbabwe African People's Union, ZAPU. This was in recognition for his work in organizing the Nationalist Party network on executive lines. Parin Yatwa won the respect of Rhodesia's black upper class and that of the rural poor who had noted his reverence for cultural traditions and his work with the Mashona Land Herbalist, which he still continued. One of Parin Yatwa's most challenging roles in his position as deputy president of ZAPU was to initiate and broker negotiations between the Radical Nationalists and the Southern Rhodesia Trade Union Congress SRTUC. The trade union was represented by Ruben Jamela, who had previously fallen out with ZAPU for refusing to join the communist-led World Federation of Trade Unions. Despite that discord, Parian Yatwa understood that union support was necessary for the party's survival. In a meeting with the SRTUC, which lasted six long hours, he proposed giving the union an executive position with ZAPU in exchange for the union's disassociation from the International Confederation of Free Trade Unions. Unfortunately, before Parian Yatwa could complete his work, trying to bring Jamela into the Zapu fold. He died in August 1962. After his death, Jamela formed his own Pan-African Socialist Party, PASU. On the 14th of August 1962, Zapu received news from contacts in the British South Africa police that a security crackdown was planned on known party affiliates. Nkomo subsequently contacted Parian Yatwa via telephone to immediately proceed to Bulawayo, where contingency plans would be made. As Parian Yatwa made his way there with a driver, they noticed they were being trailed by the police. According to the driver, Sibanda, during an inquest, the vehicle collided with a speeding train, which dragged it on for several meters, leading to Parian Yatwa's instant death.
although Nkomo's lawyer later claimed that there were marks on the deceased hands suggesting he was tied up with a rope. It was also reported that the driver said he had no memory of the event after he was allegedly beaten up. Parian Yato's funeral was held on his father's farm and attracted thousands of sympathetic mourners including Nkomo, Robert Mugabe, Ndabaningi Sitoli, and many others including Ruben Jamela. Jamela, though not on friendly terms with Zapu, he had cordial relationships with Parireni Yatua. Unfortunately, he was mobbed by Zapu youth during the funeral and his car burned despite an attempt to impose order by Mugabe. When Robert Mugabe got into power in 1980, Salisbury's Andrew Fleming Medical Center was renamed Parireni Yatua Hospital in Parireni Yatua's honor by the Zimbabwean government. Parireni Yatua's son, David Parireni Yatua, also a medical doctor, was Zimbabwe's Minister of Health from 2002 to 2009 and once again from 2013, in that sense, carrying on his father's legacy. What have we missed out of this biography of Parireni Yatua? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.